Okay, it is um, noisy outside. There's construction work going on. I've got the windows closed to reduce the noise. I've got the door closed to my room to reduce the noise of the, that I make because my flatmate is sleeping. And it's stinking hot in here. So, I'm going to turn the fan on. So excuse any noise coming from the fan. Okay, let's unbox this small sword. Sweating buckets here at the moment. Needle. Sword of Arya Stark. Now I've got her brother's sword already, so that's the reason I wanted this one as well. I'm guessing that's a plaque, the wooden plaque that you can mount it on. So I'll just leave that there because I don't need it. It's tiny. Give you an idea. This is long claw. Now I've already had a look at this and handled one of the display pieces at the shop. And first thing I noticed the reproduction of the handle is actually quite good, but the blade is not right. This is like a thin, almost oval shape. Now the blade, um, the blade that they use for the the genuine needle was. I believe something made from a, I think it was a rapier blade, which is a triangular cross-section blade. But to make something like that, um, I believe would cost a lot of money to make them. So they went with something like this because it would cut the expense down. It's nice. Don't get me wrong. I really like it, but it's not accurate. It's not screen accurate. If I knew how it was mounted inside, I would actually pull it apart and actually buy a, a genuine blade and cut it down to size and then use this blade for something else. But I'm not sure if these, these bits are threaded and screwed on or if they're just glued in.
but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try and risk it. Needle Valyrian steel. I have number one six four three. So that's gonna go up next to her brother sword. Looks nice, but as with most things, you've got really bad mold lines. You can see it quite quite easily there. It's almost no effort's been made to grind them flat. And you can see it there. Oh well, can't be helped. I guess if I wanted something more screen accurate, you know, you're probably looking at a couple of thousand dollars. But this was less than 400, so I can't really complain. First lesson, sticking with the pointy end. I know which end to use. Okay, as you can see here, where the main part of the guard is, the blade has got a high point in the middle which is raised and it sort of curves the hollow ground down to the two other sides. Um, on the flip side of that, it's actually um, V-shaped. Uh, basically, it should in the cross section should basically look like that and you've got the handle in the middle with the guard coming out on the side whereas this one that I've got here is more sort of shaped like that it's basically an oval blade with grooves taken out of it in the middle instead it should should be triangular like that and this this is the actual sword used in, in the production. This is on a display from one of the um, Game of Thrones tour that's going around the world. And again, you can see the outer sides and the center, which is raised. And that's the one that I've got. And I believe this is from Man at Arms, the TV series, where they make one. Again, that's also done triangular. So, there you have it. And the detail on the guard. And the guard here. So the reproduction of the guard and the pommel is pretty good. There's the pommel. I can't really see very well there. But still, it does the job, it does what it's supposed to, and that's be a display sword. All the best swords have names, you know. Sounds like you keep her sewing needles. I've got a needle of my own. She can sit right there. And there's Long Claw.